Hello everyone, Sydney Storm here, Eccentric Entertainer, Balloon Twister, and today we are going to learn how to twist a balloon parrot. Stay tuned. So to get started with a to get started with a balloon parrot, we're gonna go ahead and blow about this much air into it where we're gonna leave about four inches of balloon left there at the end. Let some air out. Leave that little bit of uninflated there at the end. Give it a tiny stretch. We're gonna go ahead and start with the beak. Okay, so to start with a beak on a balloon parrot, I do about a two inch balloon. Fold that over. And we don't want the second part to be the exact same size because the other part's gonna be the head. So we'll pull that down. Whoop, a little bit of a gremlin there. Go ahead and give that a twist again. We're gonna go ahead and pull that down until you see it start to bend a little bit. So this section's gonna be about four inches or so maybe and twist that so that you have the, the tie off section right at the neck and the bottom of the beak and this is the head and the beak of our parrot now to go ahead and make the wings we go ahead and have a section about this long we're gonna go ahead and make that about five inches long and then to make sure that it's the exact same size we'll fold that over Imagine a little line right here, straight up and down. We're gonna go ahead and twist all of it. One, two, three. There we go. We have the wings. Now to create the, the belly of the parrot, we're gonna go ahead and fold this down. Get a third one that's also the exact same size. Twist it one, two, three times around. And then in order to lock all of it together, we are going to push this third section we just created straight through the wings. Pull the wings apart just a little bit and you can push that through. There you go. And you can even have part of it stick out on the back side just a little bit to spread those wings apart so it kind of puffs the chest out on the parrot. It goes like that, okay? So a lot of people might stop right there, but we want to remember the feet. So to get to the feet, We'll go ahead and do about a one and a half inch, one inch bubble there or so, whatever you feel like, whatever you got left for balloon. And we're gonna go ahead and take this section, tie it to the very bottom of where we just were, or not tie it, but you know, twist it together. There we go, one, two, three. And then we have this situation here, but to sculpt the, the back of the tail, we kind of grab all of it and push and squeeze at the same time Give it a little bit of an S curve, like, uh, you know, for me, Sydney Storm. And then you get this situation here, and it lets it be something that the kids can hold on to it and go, hey, I have a parrot, things like that. Or if a little girl got this and her brother got a sword, then she can, you know, get, get after him like that, blah, 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 like that. I got a parrot. So that's pretty cool. And when you spread the, the legs of the parrot back and the tail, you can even let it rest on your finger just like that. So when I'm done, I usually say, there we have our parrot. We have the beak, the head, the belly, the wings back here, the feet and the tail, and it'll even rest on your finger just like that, huh? And then I go ahead and hand that out to the kid and they think it's really cool. And one thing that you can do to take this a step further that's really fun is you can actually like take a piece of your shirt or the piece of, of a kid's shirt, if they don't mind, and you can wedge that shirt up in there and let the parrot actually rest right on your shoulder. So there you are, we have a parrot. So do you happen to have a favorite bird that you would like to see me make? Please go ahead and comment below, and please click like and subscribe. Ding that bell icon so you get our most up-to-date videos. Again, my name is Sydney Storm. Thank you so much for twisting a parrot with us today on Twisters.